Hey guys, today is uh, September 1st and just thought I'd give an update on these systems that I had for grown lettuce and some basils. I also had some pak choy which I will show you in a bit. Uh, initially when I started this system um, st and started transplanting the lettuce into here there weren't enough lights. I was using under the counter light and it wasn't strong enough so the lettuce was really leggy and it didn't grow at all and it, it started to sort of like become a vine and, and so I decided to trash them all and start over. So I built this new light set just from all the um, it, from all these items that I purchased at Home Depot and, and build this new uh, light lighting system and it's it's really it's really working well um, I think it's probably about two weeks now and the plants are just growing like crazy um, I have to keep, keep cutting down the basil because it it grows so tall that it's starting to touch the light and sort of get burned at the top as you can see there um, that's one of the cutting that I did today to cut it down because it was getting too tall. Um, most of these basil that are grown in this systems are from a clone. I basically cut uh, these plants that I bought at Whole Foods into small pieces and just replant them. And you Anytime they grow taller, like this one there, I just cut them down, and you can just you know use the leaves in it <coughs> to eat, and then and the leftover you can propagate, and then they'll grow again. So you have uh, sort of an unlimited supply of basil if you want to keep doing that. And here's my other system, and this this these are the pak choy I was telling you about. There's the one there, and there's one back in the back. These are basil, and this is also my basil that I I cloned. And they're growing really, really nice, and I'm very surprised that how much of a difference these lights make. And there, these are basically when I cut these basil down. This, this is my pepper tree right there, uh, and I just use a a Ziploc bag, and there's some a root plug there, and with my basil cutting, and these are probably I guess these are the cheapest way to clone something because it it seems to be doing such a great job because I've done it a ton of time and it worked mostly every single time. So you can trim the top of your basil, take the leaves, eat it, and then the leftover branch, just like that one there, just clone them, and then you have more basil. So, and that's pretty much it for the update on this system, and I'm very happy with the results, and I guess the lightings do make a big of difference. Alright, thanks.